How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Donahue here once again. This time we're going to take a look at how to draw Lewis structures. And that's pretty much our objective, to draw Lewis structures for covalent compounds. So the steps, this is kind of straightforward. You just follow these steps and you end up with the Lewis structure, right? So step one is to sum up all the valence electrons for all the atoms. So in PCl3, I know phosphorus has five and each chlorine has seven. So I end up with a total of 26 valence electrons. Next is to write the symbol for all the elements and connect with a single bond. So it's usually written in order of bonding or the central atom is given first. So if I'm given PCl3, you know, P is going to be that central atom. Another way to think about it is the least electronegative atom tends to be the one that goes in the center. So between phosphorus and chlorine, phosphorus is less electronegative. So we put phosphorus in the middle, we draw the three chlorines, and we connect them all with a single bond. So far, piece of cake. Next is to complete the octets for the non-central atoms. Again, hydrogen is going to be one of those exceptions because hydrogen only wants two. So then you go, all right, well, now let me complete the octets for the non-central atoms. Those are all those chlorines. So completed the octets for those chlorines. Awesome. How many electrons have I placed so far? Well, let's see. I got eight around each chlorine because, you know, six they're keeping to themselves and then two they're sharing. So, so far I've placed 24 electrons, which tells me there's still two electrons left. Where are they going to end up going? Any leftover electrons you're going to put on the central atom. So those two electrons I have left, I'm going to put them on the phosphorus. If there aren't enough electrons for the central atom to have an octet, try making a multiple bond. Well, right now, that central atom phosphorus does have an octet, right? It's got two that it's keeping to itself, and then it's sharing two, four, six others. So it has the octet. So this is my Lewis structure for PCL3. Piece of cake, All right? So let's try it again for CO2. So again, carbon has four valence electrons, and we have two oxygens each with six valence electrons. So I end up with a total of 16 valence electrons. Step one, check. Step two, write the symbols for all the elements and connect with a single bond. Well, carbon is the less electronegative element, so I put it in the middle, I connect it to the two oxygens. Awesome. Now complete the octets for the non-central atoms. All right, two, four, six, two, four, six, and the bond is eight. So hold on, wait a minute. If there, you know, if there are placed leftover electrons on the central atom, I've, I've already used all my electrons, but, but there's a problem. This carbon only has four electrons. It doesn't have an octet. So what am I going to do? Well, like last step said, if you ran out of electrons and you don't have an octet on that central atom, try making multiple bonds. Well, this carbon, like I said, only has four valence electrons, so it needs four more. So why don't I do that evenly? Why don't I take two electrons from each of the oxygens and make a multiple bond on each side? All right, so I'm going to make some room for myself to show you all that process. So I'm going to make a multiple bond. So carbon, double bond O. Now this oxygen only has four electrons it kept to itself. Same thing with this oxygen. We stole two to make a multiple bond. And there you go. Now everything has an octet. Perfect. All right. N2H2. Sum the valence electrons. Again, I got two nitrogens each with five valence electrons, and I have two hydrogens each with one valence electron. So I'm going to end up with, if I can do math, 12 valence electrons. Step one, check. Write the symbols for the elements and connect with a single bond. Well, this one, the only real way it's going to make sense is is if I put the two nitrogens in the middle and have each one of them bonded to a hydrogen. Now it says complete the octets for the non-central atoms except hydrogen because hydrogen's only going to need two electrons and it's got that, so check. Place leftover electrons on the central atom. Well, here I kind of have like two central atoms and I have, well, how many electrons did I place so far? I got one bond, two bonds, three bonds. So that means I place six electrons. I have six electrons left to place. If I were to place them evenly around the two central atoms, you would get something that hopefully just doesn't look right to you. Like why does that nitrogen have one unshared electron? And then also there's the problem of the fact that now each of these nitrogens have, well, let's see, two, three, they, they, they have seven valence electrons they don't have an octet. So what we're going to do 
is each one of these nitrogens is going to kick in that lone electron to make a multiple bond. Right? Because it says when there aren't enough electrons, try making multiple bonds. So now, boom, I make this a double bond. God, that is sloppy. So now let's see. All right, hydrogen's got two, which it, it's happy with. These nitrogens have two, four, eight each. So they're all happy with the octet. Everything's good. Everything's good. If I could erase the not important stuff and keep the input, there you go. Right? So what do you do when there's multiple possible Lewis structures, right? So if I had NCS minus ion, I, I could draw it a few different ways. Which structure is the right one? Uh, that's going to, formal charge is going to answer this question, and it's worth its own video. So look for that video so you know which Lewis structure is best. So summarize. Can you draw Lewis structures for covalent compounds? That's, that's it, really. Hopefully, you, you just follow the steps, and then you did it. And then, uh, you know, if you have multiple ones, watch the next video so you can figure out which little structure is right. All right. I hope you found that helpful. I'll see you in class. Okay, bye.